everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I hope everybody's having a super awesome day today regardless of what time of day it is today. I hope your day has been a really awesome one. So if you're new to my channel, hi my name is Gabe. I'm a video makeup artist. I've been in the industry you know 30 plus years and I have worked in many different aspects of the cosmetic field as well as being in store, working with customers, being in customer service and also being a national. Um, so welcome to my channel and if you're my old subscribers, welcome back because I'm glad to have you guys back so today we are gonna have a really exciting video I've got some really good um, products and I have some new things so um, to see what these are then stick around and find out what it's all about okay everybody so guess what Elizabeth Arden has snuck something in on me that I did not think she was gonna be doing she snuck in a new foundation that I didn't even know that existed so in it I've already done a little bit on my eyes I did not do brows today I just didn't feel like them I wanted to be just browless today I just wasn't in a mood um, you know because sometimes brows just make me look a little harder and I just didn't feel like doing them today so I just felt like doing a little something on my eyes I didn't do lashes or anything I just did a little bit of mascara but can we talk about mascara for just a minute it's like you know so i got hold on just a second a um the chanel la volume revolution de chanel in the sample i got like two of these so i tried it one other time before and um i was like well i'm gonna kind of play with it a little bit more and maybe see because i did, the first time i wasn't really impressed with it um but i thought i would try it out again today guys this is like really super clumpy it's the clumpy gross mascara this is the brush I'm gonna show you the brush if you can see it it's just really it's i don't know it's just like really very complicated it's hard to use it's very clumpy it gets all over your if you got really big lashes i could see this working great on if you got if you don't have good lashes like i do if you've got very small lashes and small eyes you're gonna get it all over the place um so i don't know about how i'm feeling about this one and i don't have any chanel mascaras um but i know that this one is definitely one that i will definitely not be picking up if I ever do decide to go with the Chanel mascara because you know I love me some Chanel but this is just not one of those things so anyway well we tried it again and it's not bad it's just that it just gets everywhere it's just not as easy as some of my other mascaras or it does as much I mean it does a lot of volume but anyway enough about that let's get on into the foundation because I'm really really excited about this one you guys so if you guys didn't know I'm just gonna throw this out there I um, originally started my career with Elizabeth Arden I was a um, I was a Red Door Specialist with them, and I was with the company for about three years, I think. I think it was about three years, and um, and so, you know, because I've been in the industry for a very long time, so I think a lot of people forget that. So, I know a lot of history about a lot of products and a lot of brands that no longer exist anymore and things that brands don't carry anymore, you know, products that's come and gone and discontinued and everything. So, um, I've seen Elizabeth Arden go through some very, very many changes, um, and, you know, I think at the time that I was uh, working for them, I think they were they were owned by Perfumes International. Now Perfumes International and Elizabeth Arden are owned by Revlon. Um, so uh, she's been through some major changes. There've been like major companies, I think, and there's been two or three buyouts before this one with Revlon. So they've been through some major um, dilemmas. But th with that said, uh, which you'll see also my favorites, there's a lot of really good Elizabeth Arden products, and I think it's a very underrated brand. Um, they have a lot of great products that are just not talked about enough. So anyway so we're gonna start off with the um the flawless start hydrating skin primer and it looks like this so it's got like that isn't it pretty it's actually very pretty it's very like little hydro droplets it's really interesting it's very cool um, it's a multi tasking product that cares like a serum and preps like a primer for younger and brighter looking skin it's powered by microfluidic um, technology droplet of oil or suspended in hydrating gel. Lightweight texture glides and bursts into the skin with freshness and purity. Formulated with hyaluronic acid to um, hydrate. The primer improves skin and restores a youthful glow. Prepare skin um, for the foundation. So we're going to just dig in and try it. I don't have any primer on. I just did my skincare, but I don't have anything else. I'm going to take a, see if I would get a dropper up in there. like a drop each time. So I'm going to do about four drops. And ooh, it's kind of interesting. It does have like a jelly feel. Ooh, very cool. It feels very cooling. It feels very gel like. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, I like that. It's got a nice feel to it. Very hydrating. 
Um, it feels very um, refreshing. It gives like a very kind of feel. It's drying down a little bit, so I'm feeling a little bit of tack. So I am feeling a little bit. It's going to get some tackiness, which is a good thing because it's a primer. Um, so it does have a little bit of a serum feel to it. So I will agree with that. That feels really nice. Um, so let's let this dry just a little bit down and see. I'm going to do it just a little bit. As you guys know, I'm stuck on my Lisa Eldridge. I love me some Elevated Glow. I just have to do a little bit underneath because, you know, we're just getting addicted to it and I just can't help myself. A little bit about, now this is a limited edition. This is the eight hour cream. If you guys have never, ever, this is one, this is Elizabeth Arden Staple, actually. This she is developed this one actually for her horse hooves because she raced her horse in the Kentucky Derby and so therefore her ho the horse's hooves would split and she couldn't find anything that would actually help to heal the horse hooves so she came out with this cream. It's a very thick salve medicated kind of cream so it's a very medicated like see it's very medicated it's got a medicated smell to it. Um, they have a fragrance free version but it doesn't work as well just like giving you an FYI but this stuff let me tell you if you have cracked lips cold sores, wind burn, sunburn, um, any kind of, any dilemma around your mouth, or around your areas here, extra dryness, um, you know, cuticles, elbows, whatever split, anything split or irritated, cuts. I mean, it heals everything. It is amazing stuff. Let me tell you, I always have like a jar here. I have one in my, I have a uh, tube in my bag. I have like, a, there's, they're all over the place. I just love it. This is one of my favorite, favorite products. It's always has been. It's ever since like, I like probably like 94 or something. Ever since I discovered it, I've been in love with it and I've never quit using it ever since. Flawless so. Finish Skin Caring um, Foundation. And I got it in the shade 430. I got in a shade 430W. So it is a skin caring foundation with a 24 hour wear in a nourishing makeup. Now this is where it kind of caught me because I thought it was very interesting. Because um, it's kind of it's supposed to be like a lightweight. So let's see. Yeah, it runs a little bit. I mean, it's not super runny, but it's a little bit more. It's got a little bit more of a run. I'm going to take my Refer um, 17 brush. We're going to take that, and I'm going to dip into the product a little bit, and we're going to warm it up a little bit and mash it in. I'm going to take a little bit right through here where I'm really red. And again, I have it in the shade 430 Warm. Um, and, you know, I have my wonderful beauty stylist in Carolina Place Mall pick this out for me. <laughs> hey, Anita. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love her. She's great. And she doesn't even work for Elizabeth Arden. She worked for a long haul. But she would never got it for me because I have, I have friends that I call whenever I need stuff. I just tell them. I'm like, okay, I need you to get this for me. Get this for me. And then they get it for me. And I just come and get it. So, it is. I got this at Dillard's. Um, but you can definitely wherever they may sell Elizabeth Arden at. I know that a lot of stores don't carry the brand anymore, so sometimes it's a little more difficult to find. But, um, wow. Hmm. It looks looking good. I've got a little bit more here. This is where I get really right here on the side of my cheek. I don't know why, but I just get really kind of red there. And, you know, but it may be a little bit lighter and it doesn't have a sunscreen in it um it doesn't have any of that in it so there's no sunscreen in it it is a little lighter um but you know and i mean because um i was gonna go with a shade darker than this one and then um anita thought that maybe it might be a little bit too yellow but you know we're gonna put bronzer and blush and the foam so it'll be fine i think i mean it looks pretty good i mean this would be great Probably like in the winter, which is where, you know, before you know it, it'll be here. But yeah, I think so. I mean, it looks really pretty so far. Light. Like, there's not a lot of heaviness to it whatsoever. Um, it, you know, it just feels very light. It doesn't feel, um, it's kind of serum-y almost. It's almost got a little bit of a serum feel to it a little bit, I would say. It's, I won't say it's a serum, but it just kind of feels a little bit like that. You guys hear it's my it's my famous table tattle my famous tattle rattle table rattle it's it's rattling my tattle I love my tattle and in March 
they closed the red door salons. So about maybe a couple, maybe not even a week or two, they, they said that they were going to close the salons due to the coronavirus. Well, then they decided just to close them permanently. So all the red door salons now are now closed. And red door, if you guys know anything about New York, red door is a staple in New York. That was like part of the New York history. So, um, it's just really sad. I just feel so sad that it's this close because Red Door Salon was oh my god! It's just was it was it was all that in a bag of chips in New York. Let me tell you. Um. Well, so far so good. It is a little bit right here, but see, this is where I'm getting dry right here. It's right here, so it was getting a little right there where it was not smoothed out. But um, hopefully. The more I heal that and stuff, it'll be it'll be better and it'll go over that. But that was a little bit right there where it's just getting dry, so it's just kind of like creasing up a little bit in there. But um, but yeah, everywhere else, it just looks really it looks fun, and on camera it looks really pretty. I mean, hmm. So all right, so let's go into the concealer. We'll play with the concealer a little bit and then see what the foundation is a little bit later. The True Match um, Eye Cream in a Concealer. Um, and you know, I didn't do a lot of research on it because I just didn't really, you know, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. It was like 10 bucks, maybe $8. And I got it at, um, I got it at CVS. Um, I got it in the shade W56 Medium. Um, you know, but it's just very, um, it's supposed to be like an eye cream that's supposed to, it's got a little bit of an eye cream, but it's got coverage. So it's kind of like a corrector and a coverage together in both or whatever but it's just like this and it's got a little bit of a it's, it's got like a little bit of an eye creamy type consistency to it um it's kind of it's a little on the it's got a little bit of a serum glow feel to it um so we're just gonna just go right in i'm not even gonna you know I'll put the, I mean, because you know, the price is vary, so it depends on where you get it. So if you get it like at Target, or if you get it at Walmart, or you get it, because anytime you get a drugstore product, the prices just kind of vary because you never know what you're going to, everybody's different because they do sales there, and I mean, Ulta sells it, and it, but their prices are different. So everybody's prices are just different in different stores with, with when it comes to drugstores. They're not actually set like the retail stores are. I mean, like the uh, department stores are because they they sit at a certain way and that's what they stick with I used it so it kind of it's really nice i mean kind of playing with it a little bit i've been liking to play with my concealers a little bit just to kind of see um how they're going to wear and stuff kind of before i i you know get them here with you guys to talk to you about them and a shout out to Glam Girl Chelsea for um, just like she was she was talking about the ton of doll concealer and she mentioned me in it and she's such a sweetheart she's really really sweet. See, it looks good. I mean, you know, it's not creasing. It doesn't do anything. It's very lightweight. It was not very heavy. It's not a very. It's like more of a light coverage. I wouldn't say that it's a very medium coverage. I don't even think you can build it up to a medium. It's very light. So um, so if you're not into if you like more of a fuller coverage type. Um, uh, concealer, you're not gonna like this at all, probably. A little bit of my La Prairie powder, and honey, she's been messed. She's like all over the place. I opened the lid up by accident and I got a little extra all over the place, and it's just everywhere. She's all over the place. Then I'm gonna take a little bit right through here, and I just wanted to see how it does powdered a little bit the foundation. Um, and this is such a bougie powder because, you know, this is my, my, uh, $230 powder. Mm-hmm, you know. But, it's like, you know, I do, I do love the smell of it. It does, and by the way, I wanted to tell you guys that the makeup doesn't have any smell. There's no smell to it. It's fragrance-free, so I don't really smell any of that in there, any fragrance or anything in it. What do you guys think? Tell me. Tell me down below. What do you think? <laughs> I'm so stupid. You guys have to forgive me. I've been really stupid lately. I'm delirious trying to make all these videos together at one time. So I'm like, I've been like a busy boy trying to get all this stuff done on top of many other things working and trying to do everything all at once. 
own. I did it with the Huda Beauty, the contour, the 2.0 lip contour in terracotta. Um, because this lipstick color is very bright that I'm getting ready to use. And I did a very bold lip the other day with a brighter lip liner. And I wanted to do more of a muted lip liner with this one. Um, just to mute it down just a little bit. Because I've had like two days of like bright coral lipsticks. <laughs> but anyway, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's a beautiful color moisturizing lipstick um, by Elizabeth Arden. Um, I love the packaging of this lipstick. It is so cute. It looks like a, a door. It's, a, it's just like a door. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? All the way around, it looks like a door. Isn't that so pretty? How pretty is that? Um, so this is what it looks like on the other side. So it's got the door on it, if you guys can see it. And I'm going to swatch you guys a little bit. I swatched it a little bit earlier. Um, but that's the color. Isn't that gore? Just, isn't it so pretty? So we're just going to go ahead and just put it on. We're just going to go with it. Um, and again, it's $26.50. Um, but it is just so pretty. This used to, I remember when this lipstick used to be luxury lipstick, and then they put it into, I think it was Exceptional, and then Exceptional got discontinued, and now it's in the beautiful color, but they still have this color. If you guys saw my video, um, the one that I did with Kate, um, about Kate, or it's very close to the Frappa, 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 Japan. <laughs> I always forget how to pronounce the Shonjikai color, but it's kind of similar to that color. But this lipstick, guys, it feels so good. It feels like a Chanel lipstick is what it reminds me of. It reminds me because it's very rich, but yet it's not like slidey. It doesn't feel really heavy. It's got a very hydrating feel to it. Um, the pigment is insane. Like it gives you really super rich, glorious pigment. Um, but it feels really good and it blended in so well with the lip liner. It's a beautiful color and I think, I mean, you got, I mean, you guys can see it is a stunning, stunning color. It's really beautiful. I worked through many good memories. Let's just go a little bit further and let's just go back to Red Door Fragrance. So, um, I had a bottle of this and I had forgot that I had it. So I pulled it out again, um, and sprayed it. I just love this fragrance. You guys, it smells it smells so good. I sprayed myself with it earlier. It is just such a beautiful, and such a beautiful combination of scents in it. It's so awesome. It's sweet, but yet it's kind of spicy, but yet it's very modern to me. I don't know why. I mean, a lot of people probably would think of this because this fragrance came out in like 1989 or 90. Um, I think it was 1990. And, um, and it's like it's been out, but it's just a very, it's a reason why it's stuck around for a while. It's a classic because it's just, it, but it doesn't smell a ladyish to me. It doesn't at all. I just think it, it's just kind of like, it's just got this really unique blend to it. It's just so cool. And I don't know anything. Anyway, I love it. I just think it's really regard great. I thought I would throw it out there. So you know, I have to say, I'm really impressed with the primer. I didn't think I was going to, the primer, I wasn't going to be that ecstatic over, but it feels really good. It's like a serum. I mean, it's, it's definitely like a skincare product for sure. So I definitely like this. And this is definitely approved. I definitely like this. This is great. So, um, so let's go into the concealer. So the concealer, um, I do like it. I played with it enough. It's very glowy. It's very hydrating. It's very light. If you're looking for a very lightweight concealer, I think this is great. So I definitely approve this one too. I think this is really awesome. And then, um, you know, the lipstick, I love. I just love the lipstick. It feels so creamy. It feels so wonderful. Unfortunately, I think Elizabeth Arden is, um, I don't know if they're doing away with it or if it's just being like they don't have very many shades in it, but it looks like it doesn't have a lot of shade ranges anymore. Um, I don't know if they're getting ready to come out with something new or something in its place or they're reformulating it or whatever, but um, but it is a really great lipstick. It does feel really good, and I do really like it. Um, so it is really, really nice. Red Door, you already know what I think about that because that's already fabulous, so that's definitely approved. And then, um, so let's talk about the foundation. So, um, so this foundation looks really good. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the foundation. I wasn't really expecting this. I mean, you know, it's just kind of like just flopped in my lap, you know, that, um, that Elizabeth Arden had this um, new foundation, and I just kind of ran across it somewhere. I don't know how I did. I was I was looking on something, and I just it just kind of popped up, and I was like, "What is this?" And I was like, uh, "Really?" And then I found out, and I was like, "Oh, okay." It was like they just kind of snuck out with it. 
Um, you know what? And I think it's been out for maybe, it might be out even longer than just recent. I mean, it's just one of those things. I've never seen anybody talk about it. Never heard anybody talk about it. But let me tell you something, guys. This is a good foundation. It's really good if you want something natural, if you want something light, if you want something that it's not, because it's not dewy, it's not super radiant, but it's not heavy and it's not matte either. So if you're looking for something kind of like normal skin or combination, it just wants something very lightweight and you don't want a lot of heaviness or whatever it's fragrance free there's no sunscreen in it because you should be wearing your sunscreen under your over your moisturizer anyway um it's got the vitamin e the c in it it's got you know it's got a little it's got a serum base to it the hyaluronic acid um it does have a lot of skincare ingredients in it. So, I mean, I have to say, I really do like this. So, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I like it so far. It reminds me a lot of the Dior Nude Foundation is the one that it reminds me. I think it's the Dior. Is the Dior Nude? Is that what it's called? The Dior Forever Natural Nude Foundation, the one that they only have online. It's not in Sephora. They only carry it online on the Dior site. Um, it's the only place that sells it right now yet still, but it is a really, that's a really good foundation. But this one reminds me a lot of it. And I think they're about the same price point because this one's around, this one is what, this one was 42 and I think the Dior's a little bit more. I think it's like 50 something or something like that, but, um, but they're around the same price range. But, um, but yeah, but this one is, and it's fragrance free. Now the Dior has fragrance, so it does have that light fragrance to it, but this one does not. So, I mean, so, hey, I mean, we found we might have found us a, a new foundation. So I really, really like it. So, what do you guys think? Um, I think that's it pretty much. I mean, you already know what I think about the eight-hour cream. I already told you about that. Um, you know, because we kind of went over a little bit. So, it might have been a little bit longer video. I'm hoping, I was kind of hoping to make it a little shorter, but I wanted to go over a little bit of history and stuff with you guys. So, I hope you guys found it interesting. I found, hope you found it appealing. So, um, anyway, you know, um, I appreciate you guys so much for dropping in and hanging out with me if you made it this long into the video. And, you know, and just remember, just be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall. And, you know, most of all, make sure you love yourself and you try to stay kind to others because, you know, a little kindness can go an awful long way. And, you know, and with that said, we're going to go out with a glowy glow and a beautiful coral, coral lip from here in the South, coral. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a really, really good one. You know, take care of yourself. Peace out, and we will see each other again in the next episode. So, bye.